Wouldn't y'all love the chance to practice the combat before you fall? That's exactly what happened last session, our first real session of my White Noise Lancer campaign last Saturday. It was a short session, just something to finish up the tutorial introduction. Joe's character, and I will be using actual character names next session report, I promise, managed to recover a great deal of corrupted data concerning an unwelcome passenger on board. A mechanical life form or parasite draining power from the colony ship we're currently playing in and corrupting the onboard NHP, non human person, a, uh, an AI. White Noise, for formerly known as Sadie, spun up a combat simulation based off some of the data recovered by Joe's character, and the players got to test themselves on the enemy in this combat simulation. Now, I warned the players ahead of time that the data was incomplete and wouldn't fully represent the enemy waiting for them on top of the ship. The players fought a Hive NPC, which is listed as a controller in the Lancer Compendium. It has a pretty high damage output, it has decent tech attacks, and does most of its damage and control alike through the use of conditions. For instance, it has a tech attack which forces the target to make a choice, either the player becomes impaired and immobilized, or they can be forced five spaces in a direction chosen by the Hive. The Hive can send small swarms of small drones at two targets as a tier 2 threat, which is Lancer's system of adjudicating the general danger NPCs present to the party, uh, dealing some pretty hefty burn damage to the players. Burn is a damage type that deals damage over time and inflicts heat on the party. It's one of the most dangerous types of attacks to get hit by given its likelihood of starting a death spiral. Not only are you taking damage round by round, which is pretty high, uh, most of the players only have something like 12 or 14 hit points per structure point, and the burn they were taking was starting to kick up to something like uh, 7 per round. Not only that, most of their heat caps are around somewhere between 6 to 8, so if you're taking 7 heat in addition to that 7 damage per round, you're going to have a reactor meltdown pretty much almost every single round. But the party did fairly okay in their simulation, they were feeling confident, I don't think anyone lost structure or stress, no significant damage to their mechs or their reactors, and they're all feeling pretty good about the upcoming encounter. They use had made pretty good use of cover, they were working together as a team, they were set up beforehand, they had, they had an understanding of what they were dealing with. Now, this colony ship, the James McAllen, has been wrapped in layers of sediment, making the James McAllen a shaped, moving asteroid for the duration of its travel. This is what the players see when they get up uh, past, I think I described it as the birthing deck. According to SETCOM, these sediment layers are better at absorbing shock and redistributing the damage of interstellar dust and meteors. Uh, shielding and automated defenses, point defense, do the rest. Several uh, bulwarks like the top of the ship and at the very front, they could see a metallic material oriented, twisted, into the shape of a nest. Now, the players are obviously concerned the creature is hiding around one of the bulwarks, so they rolled a spot. They got an okay result, and they're reasonably certain the creature isn't near their section of the hole right now. The players proceed, their heads-up display highlighting their secondary objective. A panel lies just ahead where the players can reactivate the point defense turrets and the cameras on the hull, restoring local power. The players advance, they begin setting up a perimeter. One of them, the sniper, somebody wielding an anti-material rifle, hangs back to prepare. They roll a spot check of their own, seeing as their overwatch for the mission, and they got a 20, which was fantastic, but too late. The spotter looks up just in time to see a mechanical horror has been in a locked orbit around the vessel and is now speeding downwards towards the panel. It knocks the players around the panel down, about three of them, and combat ensues. Unlike the earlier combat simulation, this creature has two activations, not one. It goes twice in a given turn, not once. Or twice in a given round, I should say. It was a pretty standard combat besides that, just the players taking a lot of damage and learning how to clear burn from their mechs, which is very important. That's why it's still part of the uh, tutorial set of missions. They succeeded, all was well, and the real adventure started when the James McAllen reached orbit around Nefirin, the 
target jungle world. I'll let you folks, I'll catch you folks next time to uh, let you know what happened in our first session on world.